ASP.NET has had robust output caching features since its very first version. It has a rich set of features that let you control the cache by duration, or characteristics of the request, such as by various parameters, and even based on data changes in an underlying data store. You can cache full pages, parts of pages, or individual objects. In this course, you'll learn about these ASP.NET caching features, as well as those implemented and extended in MVC4. You'll first learn about how caching works and some of the scenarios where you can use various caching features. Then you'll learn about server-side caching, ranging from caching features that support a single web request to those that span across multiple users and multiple sessions. You'll learn about the output cache action method filter and how it provides some very flexible caching options. And you'll learn about donut and donut hole caching, two techniques that help implement some advanced caching techniques. And we'll wrap up the course by exploring various client-side caching techniques, including some nice features introduced with HTML5.